Backyard Brains presents The EKG Spiker Shield for measuring the action potentials of your heart. For this, you also need an Arduino, a computer, and of course, yourself. First, you must attach the electrodes. Place one electrode on your upper left chest, another electrode on your lower left abdomen, and a third electrode patch on your upper right chest. And, taking our standard EMG electrode cables, attach the red clip to the electrode on your upper left chest, the black clip to the electrode on your lower left abdomen, and the bare metal clip to the electrode on your upper right chest. A more socially comfortable configuration, though slightly more noisy, is to place the electrode pads on the insides of both wrists. And a third electrode on the surface of your foot. Using our EMG cable, attach the red clip to the electrode on your left wrist, the black clip to the electrode on your right wrist, and the bare metal clip to the electrode on your foot. Now it's time to hook it up to a computer. Attach the electrode cables to the spiker shield, and then plug in a USB cable into the Arduino USB port and into the USB port on your computer. Using the Arduino software, load our Backyard Brains heart monitor sketch onto your Arduino. Voila! Your EKG spiker shield should begin to beep and light every time you have a heartbeat. But what is happening exactly? The EKG Spiker Shield is an amplifier that is measuring the electrical impulses generated by your heart as they propagate throughout the body. The Arduino can then analyze this activity and use it to control the speaker or the light. The Arduino is also capable of sending the measurements to a computer that we can then see. Let's take a look at the configuration across the chest. We can use a software application called Processing to visualize the amplified electrical activity of your heart that the Arduino is sending to the computer. Que linda! Now the filters are low, 1 to 100 hertz, and the disadvantage is that if I move my chest muscles in any manner whatsoever, the signal becomes unstable, so I have to remain very still for us to see such nice clean heart action potentials. Let's try an experiment. If I disconnect myself from the machine and jog around the makerspace for a bit, what do you think will be the effect on my heart rate? After plugging myself back into the machine, it's not surprising. After a moment of brief but intense exercise, my heart rate has almost doubled. Now in the alternative configuration with the electrodes across the wrist and foot, we are in fact mimicking the same setup as the early 20th century electrocardiography pioneer Wilhelm Einhoven. And though the signal is slightly noisier, we can just perhaps make out the P, QRS, and T wave components of the heartbeat contraction cycle. This is only just the beginning as we at Backyard Brains and you learn more about electrocardiography and other slow wave signals of the human body. What can you discover and create? Backyard Brains, neuroscience for everyone.